when I said his name just like I said it now. Don't let my name come out your mouth. We ain't at the corner store, we in a meeting. Um, so just 284. Let me think about the Donny Houston versus the city of Flint at all. Um, I'm remembering that one. That's the one that made it out of special affairs. Yes. Okay. And that um, is the, is the, okay, the, Matthew Baker didn't make it out. That's the group of folks. Correct. The two, that, the, the two that did not make finish, it out. Well, Ms. Let for, me finish, okay. Ms. Perkin wrote a, I'm talking across the aisle to Mr. Piper. I don't even trust you. And then the Donnie Houston um, through you to Mr. Piper, anybody else on the council but you at this time, the Donnie true. Houston that had to do with the um, car, and I mean what I say, until Ms. Herkenroda respects me and respects this council, I'm gonna say what I say and do what I say. I've been doing it for nine years. Once you lose my respect, and I'll ask you over and over and over, I'm not talking to you. I ain't asking you to interrupt me. So if I'm talking to anybody on this council, if I'm talking to you, I'll talk to you but you done been a little much for weeks and months, and I don't trust you, and you say you don't like a lot of us, I don't like your ways. Thank you. We're, we're going through it as well. And I, and I thought I read that they were helping. Point of order, Mr. President. <laughs> What's your point? We get two times five minutes. You've been keeping time. It's been going on a long time. How much time she have? Y usually. Point of you're... order, Mr. President. She out yeah, of order when I call I'm a point of order. What's she talking to me well, for? That's why I'm trying to get it. Just hold on. Just hold on. Let's go. We, we, we don't need to get out of order. Because I can go if she want to do that. I ask you a question. Can you interrupt? Okay. All right. I'm done, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, say what? Uh, you say something to me? Miss Worth, Councilman. Miss Worth. You say something to me. All the time and you didn't call get to on the me. Question. You didn't say nothing to me. There's a call for the question. Is there support? <laughs> Council wants We're very busy. Thank I, you, Ms. I, I am having them. So right. we need a plan, oh, please. Okay. Thank you. All right. Is there anyone else in the second round? In the second round? Mm -hmm. Madam Chair. Ms. Bur er, Dr. Lewis, you've already spoken in the second round. Oh, okay. Thank you. Point of order. What's your point? Why do y'all let these goopy rules exist? Why okay. do we follow them? All righty. Is there anyone else crazy. in the second round? You can't round? speak. You're elected. You can't speak around. And Thank you, your Mr. Time Mays. Around. How, why do y'all live with that mess? Thank you, Mr. Mays. Crazy. Point, point well taken. Um, I think that's everybody for the second round. Now, how unprofessional are you standing up over me talking ignorant? How unprofessional it is you when you got neighbors calling me about you, saying you done bought food stamps Mr. and you're Mr. mad and Mr. everything Mays, else. How unprofessional is that? Mr. Mays, please. I don't know what's true or not, but it's true I got the cigarette in my hand. Is it true about you and the calls I'm getting about food stamps Mr. and Mays, that illegal activity? May please, I continue? Please, please stay on, on order, please. I mean, just crazy. going to continue to talk about what the people want, how this process works, and I'll be doggone. If we slip back into this competing with Mays thing as a council, I think I'm going to win. And Kate, one last, Kate Fields ain't going to discredit me with her slick. I want to cuss. Because it ain't slick. <coughs> the process and so I'm going to leave it at that this was scheduled from I think 5.30 to 8.30 I've enjoyed you Miss Ryan, Mr. Whittigan um, I see Stacy back there I see purchasing manager back there Amanda, I've enjoyed you Lee Mr. Mays we yes. have two more people who'd like to speak yet. So. Oh, well, they can. I'm just saying what I'm saying. 
people can speak once, twice, and I'm the only one who spoke twice? Or? So far, yes. I don't think so. I think you are, except for myself, who's... Through you to Mr. Murphy, you've only Mr. spoke Murphy once? Did. You're right, I spoke twice. He's That's what I thought, Miss Priestley. I'm a little sharper than folk like to give me credit. I don't like to argue day and night. I just like to try to take care of the business. I don't like people messing with me. And it some kind can be unintentional, but a lot of it is intentional. I was in the work. I, I, would, I don't know that off the top of my head. I have to pull that for you. Okay. And so, Miss Priestley, I appreciate, as Maurice used to say, your indulgement. But I'm pretty sharp, and I do things on purpose. I take myself out the equation of many a times just to sit back and look at it. It ain't just with this council. I did it with Kate Fields now. I take myself out the equation. I purposely sit in the audience. I purposely observe. And I'm begging y'all, if you want civility and decorum with me, which is politeness, it go both ways. Now, I don't know what y'all think the decorum is, but I done looked it up, up and down, because it's being much overused and abused coming toward me. So I'm going to chalk it up as unintentional, but I see a pattern. Ms. Burns, you say you wanted to ask a couple more questions. Yeah, I did have Go a Go ahead, you've got the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. And Ms. Uh, Mayor Neely, I have just a couple of questions. One of the questions, um, is Deval Murdoch a relative of yours? No, he's not a blood relative. He was married at one time to my stepsister that passed away 12 years ago. Um, whether they were, they were in a relationship, uh, whether they were actually man and wife. Um, uh, he, he, he was, he was, okay. Point of order, Mr. Murdoch, you out of order. I'm gonna ask that the police come up here. It ain't gonna be no mess up here. Okay. Now, Paul, somebody called the Flint police. Point Mr. Order. Murdoch, you out of order. He was. Uh, I'm gonna ask the clerk to get the police up here. Point. Can you do that no while word. we try to, to continue this hearing? Go ahead, Ms. Burns. Thank you. I'm this Mary particular issue. Um, I will, um, here, here's the deal. Here's what I'm not going to do. Mr. Murphy, you don't have the floor. Mr. Neely has the floor. He said he wanted to finish something. Mr. Neely. Have you received any campaign contributions legitimately or otherwise from anybody associated with um, priority ways? No. Mr. Neely, um, please come forward. If you, I want to talk to whoever is in charge. Can you come forward? Um, Point of order. What's your point? This is investigating here for not only just you, for all of us, and I would like to get the floor. You have spoke majority of the investigating here, and I would like to be allowed the opportunity to speak. And if this Murdoch guy is the head of Blight, I hope he can clean up Russell, Piper, Laredo, and Ruth the way he cleaned me up at Ruth. And when a council person got the flow, he can make a motion. And once the motion is made, it's either going to be properly second or die for a lack. Y'all just ain't hearing what you want to hear and everybody tripping. Councilman I Bay, got the right to make a motion. Councilman Bays, you do have the right to make a motion. Well, what y'all keep but, interrupting for? Y'all well, out of order. You, you continuing to interrupt. You ask the question and you then say, you say, I'm, I'm interrupting myself now. That's the craziest thing I ever heard. I'm interrupting Councilman myself. Mays. Councilman Mays. Y'all sound crazy. Councilman Mays, you're out of order now. I'm out of order, and I didn't have the flow, and people keep interrupting me. I could be done. So Councilman, I'm out of order. Is that your goal, to Councilman move me Woman, out of order? Because I ain't saying what y'all want me to say. Councilwoman Worthing, go ahead. 
I would like to make point a of order. Point of order. What is your point, Councilman? You can't just take the flow and give it to Councilperson Worthen. It's disrespect without an order. It's wrong. Councilman Mays, I ask, I ask, Dude, what I, was the pleasure of was, this body I was on in the resolution? Of making a motion. Just like you're doing now. See, just like you're doing now. Okay, you reverse it to me. Go ahead, sir. I said, what is this body's pleasure on resolution 180196? Point of information. What is your point? Are you saying that out of nine council persons, my pleasure don't mean nothing? You say, what's the body? Am I a member of the body? No, I'm saying. Oh, I'm you, not? You are a member oh, of the body. Oh, okay. But you're playing games now. No, I'm not and playing so, games. I, I don't appreciate you accusing me of playing games in a serious or I'm, wider I'm not, situation in the emergency. What if I accuse you? Here's the way we're going to do this. The right yeah. thing to do is let me finish my motion. Councilman yeah. Mays, here's the way we're going to do That's the this. orderly thing. There's a resolution that we have to deal with. That... Now, I would like to get, here's what I'd like to do. I know what you would like. Councilman Mays, I would like, and my other colleagues, we have a resolution 180196. I would like to see what is the pleasure of this body on 180196. We'll get there after the motion. Point of order. Point of order. What's your point? Here? This is a role council when it comes to roots. I'm waiting to get them in court on the witness stand, them and Attorney Kim. The judge said the other day, I'm the special prosecutor. Attorney Kim will never hit the stand. She said, I don't care if Mays wants the attorney general. When I sign a subpoena, be there. So it's going to get real serious. I'm that type of guy. I done seen council people, Gary, from... Kate feels the Maurice Davis and them act a certain way. It's just a matter of time before they go and pass it back in their hands. The first property got we got was Second Chance Church. I wanted to name this um, program the Eric Mays Give Back, but that was a little too selfish. So I'm going to call it, even though I want to establish a name for it with my legacy, I'll call it the Second Chance Program. To anybody in the seventh, eighth grade, they think you crazy. That's what I think. When I'm talking about you, Hurricane and Road, and the majority applying the rules wrong, creating new rules, listening to attorney, attorney Kim, if you don't think that's germane and you talking about you got a PhD, then you being discriminatory, you don't get it. And we might need a 10th grader to sit up there to root. Mr. Mays, that is your first warning. Okay, I appeal the warning. There has been appeal ruling of the so chair. So if we can just get past these two resolutions on special af affairs, this meeting, we only have two resolutions to go through. And this taking any other council, it might take them 15 minutes or less. But because we want to degrade, demean, grandstand, and waste the audience time as well as other council members' time, we are here. Any other speakers? Yeah, uh, Madam Chair. Mr. Mays. When my ears hear what you said, it sounds like you're talking about yourself. When you want to grandstand and demean uh, me for talking about the rules and the application thereof, saying I'm not germane, I think you're talking about yourself. We get five minutes. You should have stayed out of it. You shouldn't be grandstanding and trying to demean my conversation as it relates to the application and the misuse of these rules by you and the majority. All our meetings is recorded. There's a notebook in history of them. You got some folks cheering y'all on, they wrong. The majority of folks ain't cheering y'all on. I get calls from across the country, Virginia, Arizona, Mississippi, whatever this TikTok is, I'm proud of it because it's giving me a measuring stick, handkerchief head, Uncle Times, all that's coming to me. Yeah. It's been coming to me since Kate Fields and more recently, and now here you sit. 
Uh, would you be germane Anyone else to, would like the to speak in the appeal? Yes, Madam Chair. This one for Carter. Um, I supported Councilman Mays' appeal because I think Councilman Mays was in scope of and relevant to the uh, motion in question. I mean, you know, we're, we're talking about the rules. He, he was talking about rules. And, and, and the fact that some council members, you guys, you don't really follow the rules. You don't even, you, 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 you look at one part of a rule and then not follow the next part of the rule. So I think, it's, I think he was um, relevant. I think um, we should send this um, motion. We should, um, so that's why I supported Councilman May's appeal. And when I and when Councilman Mays is is right, and I feel like he's right, I am gonna support his appeal. And people sitting up here, you can have googly eyes or whatever, but that's how I roll, and that's what's gonna happen. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else would like to speak during the appeal? Madam Chair, Ms. Byrne. Um, sometimes people don't like what Councilman Mays says, and he's not. Always right, he's not always wrong, just like and the you, rest Councilwoman of or Madam Chair, you do issue him a warning. You don't give your other colleagues any warning. You don't do it. Go back and watch the tapes. You don't you don't give them. Councilman Murphy will say all kinds of stuff to people, and he has to me. And he don't give warnings. And he, Councilwoman Eva Worthing does the same thing. You don't give her warnings, and it's condescending. And it keeps us split again. We need a member misconduct when members threaten other people and stand behind them like they're going to cause bodily harm. When, res when residents are hitting the audience, we need to address our rules seriously. Thank you, Ms. Burns. Thank you. Uh, I would like the floor. Mr. Murphy. Thank you so much. And just <clears throat> to the public, um, my colleague, um, Councilwoman Burns, that um, talked about one of my colleagues um, saying something about did I something about some murder or whatever one thing for two and two things for certain i want you to make sure you understand this now you don't make sure nothing for me a point of information you need to warn him miss you need to warn him miss barnes you're out of order you do not have the floor thank mr. you mr murphy much. councilman murphy point of order what's your point i want to nip this in the bud when you hear her say point of information. What rule has a, been broken? Let Mr. me May. finish my point of order. You no. out of order. When I call a point what of order, cease talking what or you shall be broken. removed. Please point state of what, order. Please state what point of order. order. Please state point of order. order. Please state what point of order. order. Please state which rule I make a broken. motion you remove. You don't cease talking. The rule is I second that. Please state what rule has been broken. It's a motion on the floor and probably second. That you shall be removed for not cease talking when you hear the term point of order. I'm making the motion and she seconded it. Now you entertaining it because that's the only way to deal with you. You ain't going to over talk no privilege motion and attorney Kim can direct you wrong. The, the point of order if it is improper when you're in a point, point of order. Of order. A point of order point is improper of order. when you're in a point then of order. Then you shouldn't be interrupting talking about stuff. So now if it's if it's Mr. not Mays, proper to Mr. interrupt, Mays. you interrupted me. Mr. May. When I was it's talking, improper to call a point of order. Point of a point order. order. Point of order. The rules don't say it's improper. The rules say a point of information and a point of order is a privileged motion. And the rules say whenever a point of order or point of information is called, people should cease talking and ask what's the point. Attorney Kim then ran up there to protect you and tell you to say that a point of order is not proper. In all of meetings from beginning to end, I disagree with him and you. A point of order is the highest privilege motion. Talking should cease. The chair should ask, what's your point? And then the person who called a point of order said, and you rule on it. So don't let him make up no rule and you buy into it, good doctor. So now so, you're going to entertain this point of order because we done moved it now to a motion that you shall be removed. 
No, Mr. Mays, just, uh, ju uh, just as you spoken, you said that the chair will acknowledge your point of order and the chair point acknowledged order. the chair acknowledged point the point of, of order. order. The chair acknowledged point the of point. order. The chair My acknowledged point your of order. point of order. You should cease talking. When I asked you what rule really has been of broken. Order. We have My point of order that was that her point of information should be entertained. You but, warned her for a privileged motion because she called the point of information. That's my point of order. Now you rule whether Mr. or not she can say point of information and not be out of order when he talks. Mr. Mays, according to the disorderly person city code subsection, any person that persists in disrupting this meeting will be in violation of the Flint city code I'm subsection. I'm going to be because y'all in the and middle of And disorderly conduct, assault and battery, disorderly person point will be order. subject for arrest for a misdemeanor. Point of order. Any person who prevents the peaceful point of order. and orderly conduct of the meeting will be given one more Point of order. If they persist in point disrupting of order. this meeting, that individual will be subject Point to arrest. Of order. Violators shall be removed Point from the of meeting. Order. Mr. Mays, you are in violation. Point of order. You are you in, in violation, violation of the disorderly person of order. subsection. So and we're asking if Officer Metcalf. Point of order. I'm Mr. asking to be excused. Mr. From this Mays, meeting. you are in violation. We all are. And in accordance to Section 3110. <laughs> Special affairs meeting is now adjourned for lack of quorum at 553. Y'all looking like foolish. Now, to me, Quincy Murphy then went and collaborated with Lisa Williams, and they come in a committee meeting with signs because he got put out, and he might have felt bullied. But he wasn't bullied because the record will show when I said his name, just like I said it now, don't let my name come out your mouth. We ain't at the corner store. We in a meeting, a business meeting. Don't let my name come out your mouth. Get him out of here. This ain't the corner store. This is a meeting. 